let's start. I will start with just some, um, uh, feel free to ask questions. As you know, we use this community calls mainly to for three topics. So to share with you recent developments, uh, making you properly informed. The second objective is to receive your feedback, your comments, your requests, questions, whatever you want to 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 share with us and and of course as we are meeting every month you can also take this opportunity to push if you have any 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 issue to be solved in our side you can ask here so no problem about that and um, and then we usually we try to to have a main topic here for for for, for discussion uh, Last last topic was about um, about the open orgs, and we know that uh, several of of you, several um, uh, content provider managers, repositories managers, have uh, provided us feedback about um, organizations and the curation of organizations in your country, which was really good. If you want to know more, as we know that we there are new people every call and um, uh, please check the recordings in the presentation from the previous community call that we had uh, in the first Wednesday of February where we present to you a facility that we have that is the open orgs tool to curate um, organizations entries in the in the open air research graph which is something really important for us to merge organizations to select the proper naming for the organizations because we receive organizations from different data sources we collect also ids from the organizations and try to you know, try to have a, one single record for each uh, organization for um, uh, one specific universities that we receive different names from the same organization from the same university to, we try to merge them into um, create this record to populate the graph with the, the proper way uh, of representing that specific organization so be aware of that if you want to know more please check the recordings from the previous call and contact us via the help desk in order to to solve if you find any issue about the your organization exploring the information in in our discovery service explore.openair.eu um so this call uh, we will try to uh, we will share with you um uh, something that we are working on uh, to integrate um, the fair assessment that we first share with you as a beta, as a facility for you to use. Now we want to integrate in the validator. Uh, my, my colleague Leonidas will detail this. I will, I will present him uh, uh, during this, this call. But uh, uh, about the recent uh, developments, what, what we would like to share with you. Uh, there we did a, an index update uh, last um, uh, February 9th of February so uh, the content was updated on that date uh, uh, for those that are also um, um, uh, sub that have subscribed for example notifications in the broker the for uh, metadata enrichments they should also have received uh, notifications around that those dates if if there is new information about the type of events that you have um, subscribed in the in the in the enrichments uh, so be aware of that so of course be also aware that we have this this page it's not completely visible but it's in the explore this uh, openair.eu aggregation and content provision workflows page where you can check for the last uh, indexed uh, update date for um, if it were if we had the relevant um, update so uh, please check that uh, which is something uh, important um, we also did some improvements uh, in the help text uh, on the on the dash in the dashboard um, i will i will present it to you um, because so we were aware that this was not completely clear for for the end users and we and we did some uh, 
some important updates. So my colleague Andre worked a bit about that. We discussed it in our team. Uh, so we can improve it if you think that there are things that we should be improved. But we 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 did some improvements in that um, in that aggregation history uh, page. We are finalizing an important work around the terms of use. The terms of use, um, the, the, we didn't change the terms of use. The, the, and the policies are, are the same. The, the acquisition policies are the same. But uh, we want to make it more clear in terms of uh, acceptance of these uh, terms of use as we, we have the aggregation of the metadata and also the, the aggregation of the, the full text uh, just for a test mining proposes not to expose the, te the full text. The full text is always available via the original data source. We never point directly from open air to the to the PDFs. Okay, this is our policy, and we will and we have it. But of course, to benefit from um, from the the rich graph that we have, is important to have access also to full text from your your uh, content provider, uh, your repository, um, uh, because then we can improve um, uh, our uh, test mining uh, um, algorithms, the, the results of our test mining algorithms, uh, the links between publications and projects, publications and data sets, this kind of thing, so are improved by the fact that we have more PDFs in our graph. Uh, and what we want is just to, um, when we update this, and we want to, to do it in during during this month, uh, so in the coming weeks, uh, you will, when you access the the, the, the provide dashboard, you will open like a, you will see a pop up window asking you to 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 update your terms of use. A simple, a simple way to, to, to update. Of course, you can always do it in the update uh, tab, but you can do it directly in this that pop-up. And we are working, I hope that we can finalize this soon, um, also for the CRIS registration. Uh, we are welcoming more and more CRIS systems in, in, our, in our infrastructure, but we want to make it simple and to make this registration process directly in the in the registration um, uh, functionality in, in the dashboard. So um, this will be also released soon. It's already being prepared a long time. I think uh, all the workflows are established. Uh, it's a question of improve a bit uh, some things in the, in the user interface, but we will have it soon. Just to detail what I have, um, I have presented. Um, Let me check. Uh, so let me. Where do I have? Right here. Okay, just checking if I, I was sharing the screen. Okay, um, just for you to be aware that um, the 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 updates of the um, of the signing. Uh, okay, let me let me log in. To proper demonstrate some of the recent uh, and where you can find it, uh, uh, the um, you can find two important things that we want to highlight you in the aggregation history tab. Okay, if you didn't, uh, two important things. Uh, the less important, but it's important, is this up text here because we have improved it we are aware that there are some dops about some of the references we made here for the aggregation for the collection for the transformation so we have uh, the aggregation history here we say when was the time that was transformed when the time it was collected uh, and uh, when is the the when in fact is the last content made available in the in the and updated in the in the um, uh, in the, the published uh, graph, so visible in Explore. Um, and you can see here the example of data repository from the University of Minho. So, and this was here is better explained. Um, and, but an important thing is that we also, as we received several questions about when was the last time, and this is not completely visible. And uh, some of you made that suggestion. So this blue box here, you can see, 
that content updated on the portals in this specific date. So you can, if you check here the aggregation history, you will have the answer here and we point people to that um, page that I'm saying that it's not so visible in Explore, but now it's we make it visible in the dashboard where you can see when was the last update and if there are really relevant um, changes okay only the, the relevant changes in the in the graph um, for example the last one new indicators available in open air monitor uh, do do i boost um, that we made visible also in, in zenodo with dumps from crossref or kids microsoft academic graph the the last version of the microsoft academic graph is this is now it's not being updated anymore so we we took all the the data in december so um okay now you i think it's better so you can see it here in this box <laughs> you can have better knowledge about when was the last time that we have updated the graph and this is visible in in the different portals okay the information in provide in explore in monitor etc okay um okay this was an important um, update that we made um the last and the the other one the clarification about this um this is not formally communicated by by us by open air but i want to share with you like the first uh, first people to be aware of this we we had we had the um, long discussions internally in, in open air uh, the graph is is increasing as you know the numbers if you check i think now the numbers are more than 135 million records um and uh, the data sources are increasing the complexity the diversity of of the different the, the the research products the type of links that we do so it's making our life more difficult to ensure a proper update every month as we promised and let's say that now it's not uh, fair that we stay uh, sharing with with our users and particularly with you that our 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 providers that we do this update every month because it's it's making our life difficult so we are not ensuring this so what we can do now what we can say and we should make this clearly for the all the, the users is that open air will publish at least once every two months is an update okay uh, and this is what is possible now we are always trying to update it uh, f with more frequency, but uh, so the minimum that we can ensure is this every two months, uh, always trying to achieve uh, our goal that is every one month, but publicly we should say now every two months. <laughs> okay, if you have questions, so stay. So if you have doubts or questions, just put it in the chat or, um, or just turn on your audio, audio and, and, and ask, okay? I think about, about um, updates, this is what I want to share with you. Um, this is uh, the same slide that I shared last time, was one month ago, so just to ensure that we have we are doing this work around the CRIS system, the guidelines, and we are working also with the EOSC research product catalog. Maybe in one of the coming calls, uh, maybe in April or in May, we will talk about you, this with you, about the research, the EOSC research product catalog with you. Okay. Um, okay, in terms of recent updates, is everything. Uh, as my colleague Andreas is here, and we only have this like two slides here to, to share with you. We already highlighted this last time, but... Um, be aware of this work. Uh, we are we are like uh, kind of of of, of merging um, these versions of the guidelines. So we want to. We are working on this draft of the guidelines for institutional and thematic repository managers. Uh, it's a kind of it's an update of 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 the 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 last version that we have. Uh, we already received several contributions. Feel free to contribute in this uh, Google 
uh, in this uh, in this web page. Um, Andreas, do you want to highlight something? This is just just really a, um, an alert for our for our community that we are working on this. Um, if they want to contribute. Uh... Thank you, Pedro. So <laughs> thank you very much for highlighting, highlighting this. Um, yes, and uh, thank you um, for your contributions. Uh, you know, on the one hand, in the um, Google sheet that Pedro mentioned, and also as uh, GitHub issues. So there are some smaller changes in the guidelines in the last days. Um, regarding um, the description or clarification of something uh, of elements that we have in the guidelines. And um, I like invite you to um, take a look. And if you have any suggestions um, or something is unclear uh, for you, please share uh, with me or with us um, uh, your, your part. And I would like to highlight um, this one for the actual is a minor um, update. It's um, it's covering some fair principle elements. Uh, how is the guideline uh, guidelines are support you as fair assistance? Um, then are some improvements for aggregators. Um, we have also implemented. This is not mentioned here at the moment. Um, some uh, relaxed handling of OIE PMH identifiers that mm -hmm. we identify in this uh, in, in, in the updating of the CRIS guidelines. Um, and this is um, will also be mentioned in the um, what's new field or section in the guidelines. Um, please take a look and uh, feel free to contribute. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Andreas. I, I just want to highlight I, now hearing the um, Andreas and the and 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 having this. Um, just want to highlight one thing that maybe we can make it more clear in the coming in the coming call, and provide you more more insights and more useful information is about the Horizon Europe projects. We are going also to put this in this version of the guidelines and in the previous some examples on the way to express the, the, the identifiers of Horizon Europe um, projects. Open Air uh, is, um, is receiving, will receive soon um, Horizon Europe uh, um, projects list from, from the European Commission um, uh, to populate our infrastructure. Uh, it's, it's really in the pipeline. We are just waiting for, for that. Uh, so, uh, receiving this uh, list of projects, uh, we will, of course, then uh, make it uh, uh, available via our APIs and, for, of, and, and, of course, available in the different uh, services that we have, uh, also in Zenodo and, uh, and, 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 and the APIs to be consumed by, by the repositories. Uh, and we will put examples in the in the in the, in the guidelines also to how to how to express this. Um, uh, so let's 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 talk about that in the coming call. But uh, be aware that we are working on that. So we already received some questions from some content provider managers about this. How how will be the um, represented the information of Horizon Europe project? So we have already. We discussed that we are already instructions uh, about that so we cannot forget to mention that in the coming call <laughs> uh, and we will make it also visible via um, a news item or something like that that we can disseminate it via our newsletter okay uh, information about that so be aware of that because some some people already ask okay about so let me uh, add a note here um, yes. the guidelines will also have an example for the horizon europe um yeah. Fundos. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. This is this will be important. Okay. Let's see if we can have uh, novels. I hope because we receive a promise that we will in April we will have all the data available. And let's see if we receive it during March or not from the, the European Commission. Um, okay. Any question about uh, all this? 
updates, these changes, these improvements. So we are always available for suggestions, for improvements, but um, so, no, so let's hear about uh, what we are doing uh, with the fair assessment tool, okay? Uh, that we have presented uh, already, so last year, uh, some people have already used it. Uh, now we want to improve it and to give another way to use it. Um, my colleague Leonidas, it's, it's um, a scholarly communication specialist that we have uh, now working in the open air team, will present you uh, what are our plans and what we are doing. Uh, Leonidas, feel free to present yourself and to, and, to, and to provide your presentation. So thank you. Thank you very much, Pedro, for the introduction. Uh, well, as uh, Pedro has already told you, uh, since uh, January, I have been working for Open Air as a scholarly communication technical expert. And uh, specifically, one of my one of the parts that I'm, I have been working is the development of the fair assessment tool. So I will, we will give you an introductory presentation of uh, what uh, we have been uh, doing so far and uh, regarding the first version that we will, would like to, that we will, we are going to, to present uh, maybe in the next uh, month in the open, in the open and provide. Well, uh, the fair assessment tool will uh, be integrated in the open air validator tool as it is the beta version integrated now. There will be no need to register the data sources or the repositories endpoint URLs to open air in order to run the tool. And uh, the first version will focus uh, on data objects, on research data. Well, uh, our development uh, was based on the two models or metrics. The first one is uh, the fair data maturity model from RDA, which has specification in the guidelines, specifically 41 guidelines for each of the fair parts, findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. And uh, the model that uh, we have been, which we have implemented is the data object assessment metric model from Fair is Fair, which is based on the RDA data maturity model, except from the fact that it contains 17 guidelines for data object, data objects, instead of 41. Let me briefly give a description of the, these 17 uh, guidelines. Regarding the findable part, first of all, we are checking for uh, the existence of uh, globally unique and persistent identifiers. The difference is that, uh, for example, a URL that uh, drives to a page uh, is a globally unique identifier, but it is not a persistent identifier, uh, identifier like uh, a DOI, which has uh, a landing page. Regarding the metadata, we are checking if they include descriptive information about the specific data object. The core elements that we check are the creator, title, data identifier, publication date. We also check if the metadata includes the identifier of the data it describes, and if it is offered in such a way that it can be retrieved by machines. Regarding the accessible part, we check uh, if the metadata contains access levels and access conditions of the data. Also, if, they, if it remains available, even if the data is no longer available. Concerning the interoperable part, 
we will check if the metadata is represented using the formal knowledge representation language, if it uses semantic resources, and if it includes links between the data and its related entities. And for the reusable part, we check if the metadata specifies the content of the data, if it includes license information under which data can be reused, for example, for example, if it includes a Creative Commons license, if it includes provenance information, mostly about data creation or generation, and if it follows a standard which has been recommended by the target research community of the data. And we also check if the data is available in a file format recommended by the target research community. Well, our goal is to, to provide the score for the fairness after the assessment, which will be presented in a, in a proportion. We want to evaluate the score from the Open Air Data Object Validator. Uh, we are evaluating the score from the Open Air Data Object Validator because uh, when uh, the metadata passes, the open data object validator, it automatically fulfills some of the guidelines that was, were mentioned before. Uh, we will also want to mention that uh, some of the guidelines are applicable depending on their content. For example, the guideline uh, for the metadata that uh, remains available, even if the data is no longer available, uh, it presents difficulties in the application. And of course, we are in discussions on setting specific weights to its guidelines based on the eligibility and importance. Well, this was uh, my short presentation for uh, introductory presentation for the work that we have been uh, doing for uh, the last two months on the first version of the uh, FAIR assessment tool. Feel free to ask any questions. Great. Only this many things. I think it was a clear presentation. Uh, this is not uh, so straightforward work. It's not uh, easy to uh, to create assessment tools that clearly assess all the indicators, all the metrics, and we, indeed, yes, and the community knows that. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a, a very good service that we can provide. Um, already integrating that in a more comprehensive way in our validator. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if there is there are questions. So Andre is always trying to put here all the um, all the links, the useful links. So the assessment tool um, it's it's visible in the uh, it's accessible in our in our uh, provide. Okay, so if you can you can see it. Um, uh, sorry, you can see it in our here in the um, let me check you can see it here in the validator okay uh, fair assessment um, you can already experiment the version that we have but so with the, the what Leonid is presenting in terms of improvements in integration really as a kind of valid validate their tool uh, we will have it uh, as soon as possible but if you if you want already to play uh, you, you, you can you can do already if you were not aware so you can find it here but later you will you will improve it based on what leonid has presented so um, not sure if there are any um, any other question comments So you have also the contact from Leonidas. If you want to contact them, feel free. So he's working uh, for Open Air. He's part of Open Air 
this great team from Open Air that is always available to support you. Um, so I'm sharing again the slides here as some people already joined. So all the slides that I have presented and also the slides that Leonidas have presented, they are here in this set of slides that I have shared now again in the, in the chat if you want to download. Um, please feel free to ask questions, to provide feedback, uh, not only about this presentation from Leonidas, but about the other things that I have presented on Andreas, or any other issue that you have in, 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 in provide or related with, with open air, feel free. In bit, uh, if, uh, so waiting for that, for that question from you, I just want to highlight that all the community calls until until the summer, let's say, uh, are already scheduled. So you can see the dates of the upcoming uh, upcoming calls visible um, for for March, April, and uh, and um, May and June. Always the first Wednesday of the month. The same time, and uh, please be aware that we have this um, newsletter where we always send four, five, three news items every month, uh, just before the community call, one or two days before, also serving as a kind of reminder for our community calls, feel free to subscribe and to receive this, this news. So, any question, any comment? Feel free also to ask if you want to have uh, discussions and clarifications about any other topic that you would like to, to have, okay? Um, even if we don't clarify it in this call, we can use other calls. Brianna. Yeah, thank you, Pedro. Uh, again, very useful information. And also I put some comments in the notes, but I ah, okay, already okay. respond. Yeah, 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 it's okay. Uh, now I would like to ask you another question. Since we are in a, a project, we need to collect our data from our repositories for some other purposes. Uh, does this validator tool, not this new one about fairness, but the old one, is uh, some open source software or it belongs to somebody? Yeah. Uh, so um, it's it's belong to open air and the things that open air uh, do they are uh, open they can be reused but the, the issue here is is that the issue that we have we don't we don't have the validator clearly as a, an open source tool where you the code is available for you to download and install it in a in a and reuse it in another machine something like that so uh, um we we are not prepared for that. Um, okay. We we can, <laughs> but we are not because the the code is not proper documented and, and made available for that purpose. Um, okay, but uh, do you plan? And there to are no. And I, I'm I'm not aware of any plan for that. Okay. Within okay. within the provide um, uh, management team uh, plans, there are no plans for that. Uh, okay. But but uh, okay. but um, but maybe we can. So Andreas, do you want to? As I said something wrong, do you want to correct me or to <laughs> offer? <laughs> May I add a, a question to Biliana? Uh, which, okay. which type do you would like to validate? So okay. mm -hmm. um, is this the, the lit literature or institutional thematic repositories or more data or more CRIS systems? Okay. What it's, is uh, yeah, yeah, it is um, institutional repositories, but all kind of software, which means uh, not only the DSpace, but some of them also use ePrints and that kind of things. So, mm -hmm. uh, because this is some uh, national project just started and we need to collect all this data, not on that kind of details uh, you use it for the open air, but just to validate, let's say, few things in the that repositories hmm? yeah to use the, the validator is always an important tool uh, to um, to assess uh, yeah. 
the, the policies that you have for your service. Uh, I can I can say that uh, so we have this for uh, for the open air infrastructure. Also, uh, Bielefeld University of Bielefeld made mm -hmm. available also a validator tool. In the past, I'm not sure. I'm not following. I'm not following that 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 initiative if it is updated I, I can imagine yes and then there are national national initiatives that have also validators uh, so in 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 portugal you are, we have also a validator tool that that you can serve as as you as an example in order for mm -hmm. for repositories to participate in in the national infrastructure they have also they need also to comply with minimum rules that also follow the open air guidelines and we validate them. So I think, uh, I think it's a good approach. Exactly it's the good approach we that we have, uh, and and open air is 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 something that can be reused at at at, at the national level. I can imagine if the rules are 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 um, close to um, to yours. Uh, let's 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 present that. I will present that in a upcoming call. Let's see what we can we can do because uh, so we can set up rules, specific rules uh, within the validator tool. Um, in fact, oh. on my the, the on the knowledge that I have of in the tool, I can imagine that we can set up uh, survey rules for your uh, your um, <laughs> your um, your uh, aggregator or national initiative and. Uh, and maybe the the the, the open air validator can, can serve as a facility for you, but this needs to be discussed and and, and fee. So you are a member of Open Air MCA, so for sure this yeah. type of facilities are available. But let's uh, I will I will include that in a in a call to, to discuss it. Please do, please do. There are comments here also. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah, Andres is uh, Andres is already sharing. sharing. Yes, the, yeah, the yeah. oval, the oval, the the the, the initiative from from um, Bielefeld. Uh, Bielefeld, basic. yeah, yeah. And we this... also know uh, find uh, something from Art Meyer, but this is uh, much more about Google Scholar compatibility. So. And the crisis and, and, and invest yeah. something <laughs> we already in. Um, yes, uh, for this purpose, yeah, but um, we are just in the position now to develop something for that purpose. So, so I would like Andreas, to. Andreas is highlighting something here uh, about the, the also the linking the um, pointing to the validator of Greece, um, which is something that it was uh, done uh, so more recently. And uh, let's say that is properly documented, is properly available in GitHub. This is what the other things would also have, mm -hmm. have, have yeah, be available. But um, OK, let's the, the question is important. I think I, I'm also inputting putting some more information because I think it's also interesting for uh, for some other yeah. participants in this call because they, they also are participating in national initiatives. And um, this this validation is a, an issue in all in all national initiatives that are so we have policies we have guidelines and we need to assess those policies uh, the, to assess the data sources against those policies and, and guidelines that we want to follow okay thank you brianna the question we have a, a new comment question in the rural log <laughs> it's being right and right by vidas I don't know if I just want to open their mic. Their mic up. Um, yes, Andreas, please. <laughs> um, a, a sh short, uh, a short question. Um, the open air guidelines use uh, different metadata standards. Yes, of course. Um, it uh, depends on the evolution of the guidelines uh, since uh, 2010. Uh, the first literature guidelines use uh, the info repo. Uh, vocabulary in semantics and um, the newer ones use the core vocabulary uh, which of the vocabulary or guidelines version do you refer to uh, is it version four is it version three or is it version two or maybe it's one of the last ones uh, Vidas, do you want to add something so do you, do you want to uh, however it's not fully clear out 
terms are implemented but 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 we can explain how terms are implemented andreas uh, i think it's yes so um for it's also in part of uh, the core vocabulary in version th uh, four of the institutional and thematic guidelines um there is um, also an update in the new guideline version uh, that we are, have uh, or will be present in the next release candidate. So um, in the core vocabularies, um, we use the uh, version 1.1 of the core vocabulary for resource types. And um, there are some new ones. Uh, the core vocabulary has updated in the uh, last year uh, two times. Um, the last one is version three in uh, July last year. And there are some new L uh, terms are introduced uh, by this vocabulary version and others are removed. And in this case, um, it's best that we um, support both. So uh, the remove uh, vocabulary terms will be marked as deprecated. Um, and the new ones will be, um, of course, integrated. Um, I don't know if it fits the question, really. So please feel yeah. free. Could, could I just uh, add um, uh, how, what is the policy, how you implement uh, lower level uh, terms, so to speak? So you have... Uh, like image, moving image, and then video. Yeah, first so, level. Mm -hmm. so you use just the lowest level or first level uh, when you include uh, any term into the metadata. So from the vocab uh, core vocabulary, we support both. So we support all, uh, also the, the different le levels. Mm -hmm different but, levels and uh, there are some some terms in the voca core vocabulary that are removed between version two and version three and <laughs> but these are, are not supported i think the, the, the question specifically here if is when we because we have um, the level one of the term the level the sub level of the term so if text then we have report text uh, article so we this kind of thing. so we we support we support we support all the levels of of, of the term. This is the the answer. No, Andreas. Yes, yeah. it's correct. Right. So, Vidas, to to be more clear, wh whatever you expose that follow any specific level of the the resource type vocabularies from Coar, we consume that information. Yes. Of course, it's better to make it more clear, to make it uh, more granular, okay? So this is what we want to achieve, uh, to make it clear that we are not talking about test wall yes. types, but we, we want the article or we want to, um, so that level, okay. And currently, which which version is used for resource type? Uh, yeah, yeah, the 1.1 1 .1 for, for the, the, yeah. the vocabulary 1.1. Okay. 1 .1. Uh, if this is what we want to improve in the second, in this uh, new version that we want to release, we will integrate version two of the Coar vocabularies. But um, so I didn't discuss it with Andreas, but this is but this was already defined. I was not involved, but but it's not. But which is which is make more which is which make a lot of sense is that we will include uh, the two. Uh, versions in the in the in the, in the infrastructure. So, we suggest in guidelines for uh, so the, the improvements that we are doing, resource type, Coar resource type version two, but we will accept both versions yes. because yes. there are there are repositories that have already that are exposing already types based on version one dot one that now are not visible in version two if they fix it they change it it's or oh, everything is okay but we need to accept both and there are new terms what which, which something that is really important that, that there are new terms in version two which are interesting and important improvements 
for example, I remember data management so, plans. Mm -hmm. So I fully agree, um, Pedro. So uh, we will support and um, the aggregation system will support, but also the guidelines will um, prefer the version three mm -hmm. of the core vocabulary. So we are um, with the if we re release the new uh, guidelines that are clearly that we are uh, it's good to have the vocabulary version three of the core vocabulary resource types. Um, but if you are follow the version one one, that's uh, also possible. So for integration, um, I like also to share with you here the link to the core vocabulary. Yes. Um, and this is the last one that will be supported. So there's some more um, terms regarding data sets, some mm -hmm. more terms regarding patents. Yes. And um, this will support it on version three. Okay, uh, so thank you. Um, so we can we can uh, maybe uh, Andre Andreas maybe we can provide um, a short answer in the in the document provide us to make it more clear uh, you or me. So in the in the Google in, in the Google document, okay. Just yes, to, to make it I will clear. do. Okay, perfect. Many thanks. Many thanks. Uh, so um, thank you very much for your. Um, presence is there are no any other question um, thank you for your um, questions comments uh, so this is an open uh, open uh, community call uh, for those that are part of open air contributing with content uh, managing repositories data repositories archives journals etc so be aware that we 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 are always available to collect your feedback to receive your suggestions we hope to discuss in the coming calls some we have in the pipeline at least uh, uh, three topics so this update to the guidelines to make it more more clear when it comes to so when this will be finalized and, pre and we can present it to you the other is about the research product catalog in yosk in the way that you are part of that uh, catalog uh, and we want to also to do a discussion so if you can think about that so in april or in may about how uh, you can also benefit from argos from the data management tool that we have and the links between argos and the, the dashboard and the provide because our idea is that if a researcher uh, prepare a data management plan in Argos saying that I want to deposit the data in a specific repository, uh, this information will be visible in the dashboard. So we would like to discuss a bit what are our plans and to receive some also some input from you. Okay. Okay. Let me check the chat. Um, Uh, Anna Rigueiro is asking about the fair data maturity model. So, uh, so the, the open air guidelines, uh, we will have it uh, soon. So in this first semester, okay, the open air guidelines, the fair data maturity model specification is something from Research Data Alliance is not from open air. We are just using the, the indicators from the fair data maturity model. Uh, to implement it in our validator, okay? Um, and this is something from uh, from Research Data Alliance. It's in the in the Research Data Alliance um, plans. So I'm not aware of any update uh, from the Fair Data Maturity Model specifications. I was a, I was part of the initial group. I, so I'm not following now that that specific group. I'm not sure if there will be any any update uh, this year. But please, Anna, uh, what I advise you is to check the Research Data Alliance uh, website and to see if there are any information about the Fair Data Maturity Model specification. 
So when we, what we are doing is we are implementing in our validator. So the validator, the fair assessment tool is already available. Uh, you can check it. So it's available for all the users of, 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 of provide the dashboard. It's, it's an open thing. Even if you don't have a data source, you can check it. And, um, and uh, the integration in the validator, Leonidas, we can also promise that for the first semester. If we say first semester, for sure, we, we will have it. If we say <laughs> April, I'm not yes, sure. But I uh, agree. Yes, yes okay. <laughs> the first semester, we will have it also. Okay. Thank you very much, all. Thank you for your comments, questions. Uh, recordings, as you know, will be made available in the community call web website uh, page uh, in, the, in the open air website and uh, also the presentation. Bye bye all. See you in one of the upcoming meetings webinar from open air or in one month, uh, our meeting, uh, our next community call will be on the 6th of April. First Wednesday of the month. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you all. Bye, bye. bye Andreas. Thank you, Andreas and Leonidas bye for bye. your support. And Thank you very much. My colleague, Andre. Bye. 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 See you bye. soon. Bye.